Okay, we're going to go over how to program a rock wheel drive the easy way. So this is a PowerFlex 525. And we are going to use Studio 5000 to do everything. Other than set the IP address. So we will grab our network cable first and hook that up to the Ethernet port of the drive. Pull straight down. Okay, we're on the Ethernet part. Power the drive. Obviously being careful not to get shocked. Okay, first we'll set the IP address so that our PLC can talk to the drive. Find a decent angle here. We'll go to parameters, and then group C for communication. Scroll down. To Ethernet address select. We're going to take it out of boot P and put it under parameters. And then we'll go up to the first octet, set our IP address. And this one is going to be 20. Uh, we'll set our subnet mask. And we will set a gateway as well. Okay, that's all I do to set the IP address. And we'll power cycle the drive, waiting for it to fully shut down. Okay, we are powered down. Powered back up. We'll boot. Okay, we've got this networked into a little PLC. This is just a little L16. It uses the Studio 5000 software. I'm on version 30. So down here is where you configure your Ethernet device. In this case, it's a VFD. So give it a name, set your IP address, and previously I've already set all these parameters that I needed for the drive to work the way I want it to. Set a minimum frequency in my different start sources. So first, first source will be, I have a handoff auto switch on there, so in hand it'll just go off of a keypad reference, which you set it to serial, and it, which is odd because keypad frequency is what I would expect it to be, but it's actually serial DSI is what you want. Start source 2 will be my Ethernet. Uh, that's about it. You set the parameters, and I also have this automatic device configuration checked. That means when I download, it's going to program the drive for me. So let's go ahead and do so. So right before I started this video, I'd reset this drive to factory defaults, so it was a blank slate just before I hit record. Ask it to go to run. And we are up and running. See if things are set how I want it to. Minimum frequency 20. Everything, all the parameters got stored to it. I had just done this one once. Normally it takes a little longer than that. This will have a yellow triangle next to it for a while. And when you first bring this screen up, this will say configuring down here. But after about 20 seconds, it'll go into this run state. It happened really fast this time. But, um,. And then uh, to verify operation, we'll put our switch in hand. Oh, we're fault. What is our fault?
Oh, it was the loss of Ethernet, so nuisance fault. Okay, put it in hand. Should go to our 20 hertz min frequency. We'll set 35 as a reference. 33. Goes where we want it to. Take it out of hand. We'll put it in auto. Driver's not running. We'll go over to our chunk of code. I'm going to toggle this bit, which will make it start if it's working. And let's see, we're speeding up to our set point of 31.6. Try changing this to 34. We should see the drive react immediately. And there we go. We'll take away our start. And there we decelerate to a stop. All there is to it.